My outfit of the day is this Berta sweater with this simplicity coat, which I wear all the time, and just some thrifted jeans and some boots. I think it's like 60. It's, it says 70. Oh, 70. So, it's a, so three. Does it really? Yeah, so it's the car That's probably inside, not outside. No, that is the outside temperature. What? Hmm. I'm going to burn up in this sweater again, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh. My husband just gave me this package in the mail. I was waiting on this. I actually went to uh, the Gap the other day to ask them if they could look up to see where my order was. And here it is. It's just a Gap tank top. I thought it was so cute. You know what? I actually feel like I need to put this on right now. What's wrong? It's a hinge and light. I noticed that. Yeah. When we got in here, but I thought you may have. I didn't know if it was something that was already on this whole time. This is just a cute little gap tank top. I thought this was adorable. So I'm so happy it came in the mail. We are on our way out to eat. We're going to the yard house. I have not eaten today, so I'm ready to eat. Looking forward to it. I might have to put this tank top on for real. Under this jacket, that might not be a bad look, but we'll see. Cause look at this kind of hot with this collar and everything. Ooh. I spent all yesterday sewing and I made the cargo pants know me. I think it's 2054. I made those pants again. This time I made them in denim and I just love that pattern. So I used the denim that I purchased from Cali Fabrics and I mentioned in my last video, I believe it was, that the denim was really, really thick. But I did wash it and I did put some fabric softener in there and it did seem like it helped it loosen up a little bit. my cargo pants and they do have a lot of pockets I did put all the pockets down the front of the pants but in the back I only put two pockets at the very top the cargo pockets have a gusset to go around the pocket and I did decide to use the wrong side of the fabric to cut out the gusset pieces I did put the ties at the bottom of the pants leg the ties I thought were a little long so I cut off three inches and I feel like I could probably even cut off a little more but I probably won't. I'll leave it like this. These pants do call for quite a bit of top stitching and I decided to use this multicolored thread. You can buy spools that have various different colors on the particular spool. This one happens to have like, what is this, red and then it changes to blue or purple and then it looks like green and yellow. It's really pretty. So for all the top stitching that was called for in this pattern, I use this thread. I just placed this thread in my second machine and whenever I needed to top stitch, I just would jump over to that machine and do all the top stitching and I really like the way it looks. I really like the way it turned out. I thought it was really cute and different. The smallest size in this pattern is a 10. I did sew up the size 10. The only change that I made as far as helping the pants fit is to reduce the crotch. So I raised the crotch up just a little bit so that they wouldn't be hanging too low. And I just wanted to see how the pants would look in a size 10. And I'm pretty pleased with the result. They weren't too big or too baggy.
I did make one other thing and that was one of the new simplicity patterns that I picked up recently. I made this hat which is View D, the pink hat. And I really like the hat. I like the way it turned out. And I just used this sweatshirt fabric, which was some scraps that I had from a sweatshirt dress that I made recently. And this view only called for three pattern pieces. So it's really quick to make and it's really great if you want to use up some scraps. I am currently in Florida. And this is the Embassy Suites Hotel. I thought the lobby just looked so pretty, so I wanted to share it with you all. People are down here having a nice little dinner or lunch. It's only about close to one, a little afternoon right now. So I'm here with some family. We're in Destin right now, Destin, Florida. And we have someone in the family who is getting their barber's license. So I think they're going to be done around the beginning of the year. So although I wear my hair down, just to give this person some practice, I told him that he can go ahead and like trim down the hairs that are growing down the back of my neck because there really are some. And I don't wear my hair up very often, but if my hair was trimmed down like that, who knows, I might. So just to give him a little practice, I'm going to let him just kind of fix me up in the back. This is really, really nice. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Did you want to take it down or just wind up? Well, take it what? Take what down? Like, do you want to cut the baby hairs or no, you just want to wind up? I don't know. Good Lord. Just make it look right. I don't know because I never really do this. I can make it lower. Is that what you want? I don't know. Good you Lord. want to lower it? What are you saying? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand the difference. I don't either. I don't either. So your hair is long. I could just make it shorter back here and then line it up. Or what? Or just line it up. Maybe just line it. Right, Mom? Yeah. Okay, just line it. You don't it. want it shorter. Yeah, I don't think I want it shorter. That's right. I just want to get the hair that's sticking out. Yes, that's it. I just want to get the hair that's sticking out. So then, then it's not just lined up. You want to take it down. Oh. Oh, okay. We don't understand the term. Yeah, we don't know. We need your ex you know, expertise. Yeah, yeah. Your expertise. There you go. Yeah. Just, just hook it up. Am I holding my hair right? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this so fast? You know I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to sleep. Take your time. Good Lord. You're clean. Hey. Big difference? Yes, ma'am. All right. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> he clean you up. Tip. We made it to the beach. Look how pretty it is. I love the skyline, how it's like a pink and blue. And the sand is white. So we're going to walk down here and get a closer look. Oh, it's soft. I told soft. you it doesn't stick to you like regular uh, sand. It is super soft. Let me, show, let, me, let me show the people. Let me show the people. Here, over here. Pick, pick some of this that hasn't been disturbed. I want to show the camera. Like how it's so soft, you guys. Look right here. My mom says it's powdery. It's nice. Yep, it is nice, nice, soft sand. Like you could bottle this up and sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the skyline, though. How pretty it is. So we've been here for a couple days now. We did a little shopping today and I actually 
bought myself something so we went to the gap and i saw this denim jacket with puffy sleeves i tried it on and i fell in love so i just had to get it and i had actually seen that jacket inside of the gap before and i thought it was so cute but i didn't get it but this time it was on sale and i just went ahead and bit the bullet and i love it i'm so glad that i bought the jacket we're leaving tomorrow so we'll be going back home i'm so glad we had this time together we had so much fun We stop at the Alligator Beach. It's a restaurant and then they have like a bunch of alligators. You can pet them and take pictures with them. Oh my goodness, look at them. Let me tell you guys a little bit about our alligators and then towards the end of it, you guys can ask any questions you guys have. And then uh, you also get the chance to touch the alligator too. You've never touched one before. How many of you guys have brothers and sisters? So how many of you guys out there have siblings? Okay. Usually around seven or eight years old is when they can start uh, mating. So that's another reason why you get rid of them? we s send them away because uh, when it comes to mating season, the boys fight each other trying to find a girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah, if you feel them, they're very soft on their side and underneath. Uh, their back is a little bit tougher. Look at all of these alligators, little baby ones. 